Hello guys, it's Roman from Tentech. Today I'm gonna show you how you can create this hammer in Blender in a few simple steps. First of all, make sure that you have enabled the add-on loop tools, we're gonna need it. Now as always, delete the default cube, add a new one, go into edit mode with tab and scale it in the Y direction. We're gonna add some loop cuts. Do it in the other direction too. Now we're gonna add two more loop cuts. Right here. And right here. Select these two loops by pressing Alt and right click. And then extrude it along the normals by pressing Alt E. Next step is to make it a little bit uneven by adding some bumps into it. Select one edge, press Ctrl B to bevel, apply it with Enter. You can open the little menu in the left bottom and switch to vertices. And now change to width. Do this wherever you want a bump, but don't overdo it because it's gonna look messy. next step is to bevel the edges so that it looks a little bit cleaner. Select all the edges where you want the bevel to be. Now press Ctrl B to bevel it. The next step we're gonna add the handle. That's the step where we need the plugin loop tools. First of all um, inset the faces, press W, select loop tools circle scale it down a little bit so that it doesn't overlap with the outer surface now extrude it we're gonna add a loop cut move it down select faces and extrude it along the normals i'm gonna do another two loop cuts you can change the number of it by uh, moving the mouse wheel. And I'm gonna move that down. Select the faces again, Alt E to extrude along the normals. And done. I want a nice round tip, so I'm gonna add another loop cut. Select all the faces. Alt E to extrude it along the normals to make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna add another loop cut. Select the top, scale it down, move it down, and done. The next step, we're gonna add some fancy materials. I'm going back to object mode, selecting the hammer and add a new material. I'm gonna change the view mode to a material mode so we that we can actually see what we are doing. Now I'm gonna select fancy gray. Gonna turn up the roughness a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back into edit mode again. Select the parts that I want to be another color. you have selected everything, we're gonna add a new material, change the color to a yellowish color and assign it. I'm gonna turn up the metallic a little bit and I'm gonna turn down the roughness a little bit. I want those two parts to be the same color so I'm gonna select them. Now switch to the second material and assign. At the last we gonna change the color of the handle to a nice brown, add a new material, press assign to make it brown. And done. 
Just make it look a little bit nicer. I'm gonna add some bevels. Now that looks better. And I think we're done. Next part we're gonna do a simple lightning setup for rendering so you can get a nice looking render out of it. For the rendering I'm gonna press shift A and then a new plane. Move it down, scale it up. Go into edit mode, select mesh, extrude it into the set direction. Select this edge and bevel it. You can adjust the bevel by using the mouse wheel. Done. Now make a new material. I'm gonna use gray as a background. That looks all right. Let's add a camera. Move into it by pressing zero on the numpad. Open the N menu by pressing N. Go to view, camera to view. Now you can move the camera. Move it into a nice location. Now make sure you uncheck the camera to view. Otherwise it's gonna move with you. I'm gonna scale the background a little bit more in the y direction so it's uh, so it covers the whole camera. Now for lightning we're gonna do a simple trick. Go to the world menu, change from color to environment texture. I'm gonna select the texture that I have laying down on my desk. But you can go to websites like Polyhaven to download them. Gonna link it in the description. I'm gonna change the render engine to cycles because I like the look a bit more. And press render. That's it, you're done. If you learned something in this video, please leave a like and subscribe and give me feedback in the comments what I could do better next time. Thanks for watching and until next time.